Hello guys, welcome to your 38th C++ tutorial. This is Anirudh here and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about references and passing them to objects. Since you've already learned about references and call by reference, call by value and a lot of things about references, I would like to teach you about this uh, one thing that will help save some memory. Let me show you what people usually do without using references what happens okay so class my class int I want to name this who so public my class a constructor in 10 who equal to n and see out Constructing who and L. Okay, and I create the destructor my class. See out destructing who and okay and well I just need to use this one in ID return o okay and also i'd like to create a function or method that is just like a regular method no friend or anything so void f my class my class o and see out received o dot id and the line there and in the main main function I'm just gonna do this my class x one and f x and return 0 so the, let's just see the output let's see how many of you have guessed which what what will be the output and you must be correct because there is no output and why is that so well let me see well let me just try to run it again ah, there we go it just run ran okay so constructing one destructing one destructing one destructing one it's pretty weird now isn't that so oh yes i so, so forgot that i should have written received okay and i should also give a space here so that everything would be you know more easier to understand there we go constructing received destructing destructing so what this means here is that you are constructing this uh, same thing once you receive it once apparently and you are destroying two objects now how where the hell did another object be uh, come into existence now that is because here we are calling the object by value clap yourself if you guessed it okay so to you know save some memory what we will be doing is essentially just putting this and sign here and I think this should run and there we go constructing received destructing so in 
when I remove this AND sign, I am not passing it by reference. What reference, again I am just reminding you, is like an alias. A reference is like an alias. It's another name for the same thing. For example, room number 22 would also be class 10. Okay, so it's just like that. So in call by value, what happens is a variable is taken and you actually get it gets copied to another location in the memory and then it well what can I say it is then operated upon and since two copies have been created twice it has to be destructed and thus it is destructing twice but when we pass it by reference the same variable uh, is passed and no copies are created thus saving time and memory and CPU time and what not I don't care so you should pass by reference to saves on memory and things but if you want to keep the original objects the same you should you know call by value or what okay so thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned